All right, I know we don't talk about the NASCAR Xfinity Series a lot on here, but when there's a fight, we must talk about the fight, okay? So, Ty Gibbs, Sam Mayer, two young guys in the Xfinity Series, they got into a little fight tonight. So let's look at the fight, let's talk about the fight, let's talk about what caused the fight. Let's talk about, I guess, I guess where I stand and who was right and who was wrong. We got some things uh, to discuss. So uh, background information, Ty Gibbs, he has not made a lot of friends as of recently. If you go back to Las Vegas, I was at this race. He wrecked Ryan Sieg on like lap three, and then Ryan Sieg horrendously failed at trying to intentionally wreck him later. And then last week against his teammate, John Hunter Nemechek, moved him up the track to win, which in my opinion was not a bad move. You race for a win. I think that's fine. But this one, um, yeah, it's uh, interesting. It's not necessarily Gibbs' fault, but it's just Martinsville. It's typical Martinsville. So they're they're racing for the $100,000 dash for cash, Mayor, Almendinger, uh, Gibbs, and I think it was Herps as well. And, uh, you know, Mayer just shoves him up the track a bit for that $100,000, and they both get into the wall, and Almendinger wins it. So, you know, it wasn't for a win, but it was for $100,000, a big prize. And uh, Ty Gibbs comes back around, shows his displeasure, rear ends Sam Mayer, hits him a few times, and, uh, yeah, it ends up escalating into a fist fight. I love a good fist fight. So let's look at this fight. So first... Sam Mayer, he's in the process of taking his helmet off. And uh, as you should do in a fight, if you know me and you know my opinions on fights, you should always take your helmet off if you're going to fight someone, if you're going to talk to someone. So uh, big minus points for Ty Gibbs here for keeping his helmet on. Big plus points to Sam Mayer for taking his helmet off. But if some people are like, oh, it's smart to keep your helmet on. You can't get punched. It'll hurt the other guy. No, if you're going to fight someone, freaking fight him. Don't, don't get, uh, I, I just... You take your helmet off. You take your helmet off. If you're going to fight someone, you take your helmet off. So first, Ty Gibbs does a little Joey Logano move here into where he does a little shove and quickly walks away. And, uh, yeah, so Sam Mayer obviously doesn't like that. Gets all up in his face. And um, Gibbs responds by kind of pushing him a little bit, kind of holding him back. And then Mayer decides to get in his face, put his finger between the little gap between the visor and the helmet. Decides to put his finger in there. Gibbs was not a fan of that. They kept on chirping at each other. Mayor gave him a little punch. And then here it is. Ty Gibbs swings. And he gets a nice little hit there. I mean, he smacks him straight in the face. And then he keeps swinging. He keeps up. Not like that rapid. But um, the point being, he keeps on punching. He keeps on hitting. And he lays a few good blows. And then he gets Mayor in a headlock. And then, uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a little bit of com confusion here. There's a lot of people trying to break him up. And then Mayor just kind of wraps him up like a, a defensive back trying to tackle a receiver. Just kind of grabs him. I didn't know if he was about to body slam him or what. But uh, he just he just started grabbing him. <laughs> he just started grabbing him. They go to the ground. And, uh, I mean, seriously, what an epic fight. I hope everyone's okay. By the way, look at Sam Mayer after this. I mean, he got hit. He got hit pretty good there. Uh, he's got some bruising, got some bleeding, got some bumps. And uh, yeah, he took a good bit of hits there. Whereas, you know, Gibbs was wearing his helmet. So in my book, in my fight little mental book, big, big minus points to Ty Gibbs for wearing the helmet. If you're going to get in a fight, if you're going to throw punches, you take the helmet off and you fight him square to square, face to face, man to man. Now, to the Sam Mayer side of things. Dude, you got punched. Like, you got clocked, dude. So, uh, you need to, if you're, you got to train a little bit more. You got to get the arm up there. I'm definitely a bo boxing expert here. I've watched like one boxing fight in my life, so I know everything, right? Um, but yeah, you got to throw up a little defense. You know, obviously you don't know that he's going to swing. But after the first one, you got to be prepared. You got to put your arms up. You got to duck. You got to do something. And he just kind of took it for those first couple. And then he finally kind of figured it out. And he went at Gibbs. And uh, he kind of went for the tackle. You're getting punched. I get you can't punch him in the head because he's wearing his helmet. But, you know, I don't, if you're going to fight him, uh, punch him in the in the side or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so and who was the winner? Uh, Gibbs landed a few Good punches, so lots of points there. As I said, the helmet and the, and the gates. 
punches. Mayor did get beat up, so uh, I think we're going to have to give this one to Gibbs. Um, the initial push was a little bit baby, a baby move. And then after that, I mean, Mayor got all up in his face, and so he was kind of asking for it a bit. Um, at the same time, I think he was understandably pissed off because of the the push and the runaway or whatever. So I think Mayor was allowed to go after him and say, hey, that was kind of a, a chicken move. you like, if you're going to push me, come at me. And he got up in his face, and then Gibbs didn't like it, and he kept getting in his face. And Gibbs finally responded, landed a couple good hits. Now, who was in the right, who was in the wrong? <sighs> I think Gibbs was in the wrong there in terms of the fight. On track, it's just Martinsville stuff. It's, it's Martinsville, guys. I mean... We expect this. I expect this every race. We saw it last night. We didn't see a fight, but we saw Haley Deegan and, uh, was it Johnny Sauter? I know they wrecked on track. Sauter wrecked Deegan. But after the race, it was Lawless Allen and Haley Deegan. But uh, anyways, in terms of who was right and who was wrong, I think Sam Mayer was more on the right, I guess. Because it really didn't need punches, if we're being honest. But, you know, Ty Gibbs, I think his reasoning was he got in my face, so I punched him. Hmm. Interesting there, but uh, yeah, we're about to have, it's like 11 p.m. and we're going to have another video in like three hours because F1 qualifying is about to happen. So uh, if you like F1, stick around. We'll be here at like 2 a.m. to talk about qualifying. And then tomorrow night, we got the Cup Series race at like 6.30. And then we got the Australian Grand Prix at midnight. <sighs> Woof, it's going to be a busy, 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 busy 24 hours. Um, but yeah, at least Sunday, there's not going to be any races and stuff, so I can sleep in, so it'll be all worth it, but, uh, we had a fight, I love fights in NASCAR, if you didn't know that, but you, if you know me, we talked about this with the Harvick Elliott thing, you never wear the helmet if you're going to get in a fight, you always take it off, you fight them, if you're going to punch, you're going to swing, you take that helmet off.